Good morning, maggots! Today is January 29th. I'm Trunchbull. And I'm Matilda. Welcome to Vault Vision. Don't forget to check out our Twitter and website. Now on to Chargers Sports. Now I'm rising from the crowd Rising up to you Feel with all the strength I find and I can't do She reached in the trunk and found a Nina. I told her, baby, that's Nina Simone. Hey, hey. Brady seven pack, they come in bunch. I've been with the choir on a high note, getting Cenos. Different presentation to this vibe, you need it, Creo. Dallas, when I'm on the road, I get the going. T.O. Dominatrix, make sure when she do it like a Neo. They gon' lie, they gon' slip and slide, get beside you. They gon' try, we all hunted deep like Verizon in the tree. Now, it's time for a video break. Those hats off. <laughs> Welcome back. Now let's talk about campus news. Students, make sure to check your RTS scheduler to see what tutorial you are supposed to go to today. 
Just a reminder that if you visit the Main Street Market, you must have the orange pass from your teacher, that is one person per pass, no groups, and you must be wearing your school ID. If you are a sophomore or junior and interested in applying for TET, please stop by Ms. Brower's room, room 1136, at your earliest convenience to pick up application information. Model UN will meet Tuesday, January 30th, after school in Mrs. Cunningham's room, room 2319. This is our last meeting before our conference and it is crucial that delegates attend in order to finalize our plans and to share important conference information. All delegates should plan to attend. Now it is time for Man on the Street. Plan for Man on the Street! What's up guys, it's Ashton, it's Jackson. We're back again for another Man on the Street. Today, we are gonna be exposing people's real heights with a tape measure. Uh, I'm here with Gabriel. Okay, I'm gonna ask you some questions. How tall are you? Five, five and three quarters. So like exactly, probably like five, six. Okay, we're gonna be testing that today with a tape root military. Oh my gosh, that took him a while to respond. We're gonna see if he was truthful. She just said you when she walked past us, bro. How tall are you? Five, seven. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> I give him five, six and a half, like five, six and like Bro. a quarter. He's oh! Like, Cut it off. Cut it off. Hey, what's your what's your height? What's your height? What's your height? Six one, six two. Six one. Okay, we have a tape measure here today, folks. We have a tape measure. We're gonna see if he's lying about his height. Five eight. Okay, that's valid. <laughs> hey, not six one. Why did why why did you lie today? The females. What is your height? 5'10. Then, okay, we're gonna test that today. That's looking like 5'9, buddy. Why'd you choose to lie here today? Uh, I thought it was 5'10. What was the last lie you told your parents? That's an awful question. I told my mom I was going to work, but I actually sat at the park where I was. <laughs> I didn't read Harry Potter fan fiction whenever I was 12. <laughs> right, I have a question. What was the biggest lie that you've ever told? Uh, I'm six foot. You're six foot? Yeah, for sure. That's a lie, right? No. Nah. That's not a lie? No. Nah. You gonna test it right now? Yeah. How tall does that say? That's a, that says 5'10. 5'10, right? You know, 5'10 is basically six foot. We can give you that. Yeah, we can my give shoe's you. on. My left shoe give me one inch, my right shoe give me one inch, so that's like six foot. Now it is time for a break! How do you feel about the upcoming Matilda musical? I'm very excited. I've done three years of musicals here, and this is the first time I've gotten something this big. So I'm really excited to show everybody what I got. As Bruce's character, he is like 10 years younger than me, and I have to alter my voice and my singing voice so I can sing and talk in a very different way, like a kid. I'm just excited to just like see it all come together because I've only like seen it step by step rather than all together. My favorite part is watching the designs come to life in um, in the kids' work, so getting to see what actually comes out is the most exciting part. What are some of the greatest challenges you faced throughout the production of the Um, Well, there's been a lot. Learning all of my music was really hard. The timing was really hard to get down. We have some of the little kids from the younger schools coming in and getting to teach them like the ways of theater and all the hard things about being in the pack. 
our cast got moved around a little last minute, so I've had to, we've had to adjust some choreography and teach some new dances, but everyone's adapting really well. Everyone's working really hard. What's, what I love about Chris Springs Theater, and, and of course we do this and associate with many of the choir kids, well, we have a, just a tradition of, of being a team working together. And the growth comes from how we have one common goal. How do we create this story that is entertaining for everybody and it looks professional? Uh, to me, just the growth is a success in and of itself. And we're continuing to see that every day, so. Don't miss out on Matilda and make sure to come and see a great performance by your Charger Theater. Tickets are on sale now at www.chargerstage.com. That's all we have for you today, maggots. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and check out our website, or else I'll send you to choke it. Don't forget to come see Matilda this weekend, so you can see the story on how I defeated the evil Agatha Trunchbull and found my family. We'll see you next time on Vault Vision. Vision.